，一开局马奎尔就将黑球踢到了底库。虽然红球漏了右侧中袋，但走下等候区的马奎尔万万没想到，自己这一杆长台打丢，会是斯诺克史上最神奇的一幕的开始。面对黑球被锁死的开局，奥沙利文一抬手就推土机模式，蛮横炸球，然后开始了最传奇的伪粉青红的精彩一杆。All through the pack, the pink. 十五颗红球全部叫粉球，任性的火箭，用远比单杆一四七更具难度的一杆，完成斯诺克史上绝无仅有的一场比赛。But、um, Dave, that he, that he showed in winning this title. Yes, it was another one of those matches. I think. 火老师第一杆炸球就非常完美，粉球左侧中袋可以上手。接下来，火老师就开始伪粉球展开攻势。Deep four nil. Okay, Maguire came back to four three, but I think the last frame was crucial. O'Sullivan reasserting his authority to lead 5-3, and then. 此时火老师已经八杠三遥遥领先，手握五个赛点，这场比赛晋级应该是没问题，干脆就来一场表演赛。Great form in the Premier League a few weeks ago, beating Jimmy White in the final there, 7-0. He's come here, you know, and he's already had a victory over Ricky Walden, 9-8. Fell over the line there a little bit, although he did make a century in the last frame. But、um, yesterday, even at 5-3, he didn't look unduly concerned. He just, you just look at him now and think, well, he's got one gear, two gears, perhaps three gears to go into. And、uh, you had the feeling that he was going to come out and play like this this afternoon. 这一杆还不错，将粉球下方几颗红球带了出来，但是白球走的稍微远了一点。Gerard Green nine seven, so it'll be interesting to see how those two play in their encounter. 其实这一杆可以去打篮球，或者咖啡球、绿球，都比粉球要好打一点。但是火老师就是任性，非得全部叫粉球。Mm, could be. Well, that wasn't a close pot. Ronnie. Thirty-six. I was thinking, a little fortunate to see that pink go in, but he's still in amongst them, and、uh, we can make make a、uh, match-winning break here with the black out of commission in the middle of the back cushion. He scored very heavily here in this session. As we've mentioned, breaks of eighty-two, sixty-six, a hundred in the last. And when these sort of positions have presented themselves. 大家都知道火老师的著名局。二零一六年威尔士公开赛，在单杆一百四十七基本快要完成的时候，最后时刻的一颗红球故意叫粉球，以至于打出了那杆著名的一百四十六分。嗯 ，Bonny was two to one yesterday, two to one.、Uh, now he's seven to four. Cut a little bit more, and there's the pot success rate, eighty-seven for Steve Maguire. That's not high enough. Bonny at ninety-four plus. 火老师的走位真的是太精彩了，行云流水一般，又快又准。这时候已经完成了八套红加粉球了，剩下六颗红球都在右下方，另一颗靠近远台左边库，难度会越来越大。A title winner with his form, this man does also. Let's not forget that Ding Xunhui will be seen soon against Matthew Stephen. 更让人争议的事情就是，那一年奥沙利文虽然杀入了四枪，但在2006年英锦赛的四分之一决赛中，当奥沙利文在一比四落后于亨德利时，他竟突然走到执裁裁判和亨德利的面前。进行握手，并对亨德利说了“巨柱你好运”后，就在全场观众有些疑惑的注视下，径直走出了赛场，让亨德利不战胜。下一集我们会重点回顾这一事件。A man under pressure, he knows he won't get another shot now in this match. Flame safe. Well, Stephen has had his chances, hasn't taken them.
I have never seen a player top 15 rows of 15 picks in a professional match. 能让赛场的现场解说员都直呼。No, it's good. You 大概就能理解它的难度。Happen really? I mean, the top of the great board, we've got two one four sixes. Fair enough. That's one pink taken. But I've never seen a pink taken with every red. Of course, the black, the black cushion was the reason for that. Well, it doesn't matter now anyway. But 打薄了，最终，胡老师这一杆停留在一百一十分，而这一杆球的难度绝不亚于单杆一百四十七。唯一的遗憾就是没能完成青台。So O'Sullivan. Three times the UK champion through safely to the quarterfinals.